The following steps are carefully planned and strategically designed to guide enterprises through a successful migration from on-premises to the cloud. Our team adheres to a week-by-week -week approach to ensure a seamless transition to AEM as a cloud service. Number 1. Study, analyze, and document the steps. The initial step involves thoroughly exploring AEM as a cloud service, understanding how the changes will impact your existing operational environment, identifying available and unavailable features, and discussing all potential requirements with your Adobe Experience Manager service provider. The key discussion points include 1. Authentication changes. Modifications to authentication mechanisms are essential to align with cloud security protocols. 2. Dispatcher configurations and caching. Reconfiguration of dispatcher settings and caching mechanisms may be necessary for optimal performance in the cloud. 3. Limited configurability of maintenance tasks. Some maintenance tasks may no longer be configurable in the cloud environment, requiring alternative approaches. 4. Custom rendition steps. Updates to custom rendition steps might be needed to ensure seamless functionality in the cloud. 5. Supported workflow processes and asset uploads. Verify the compatibility of supported workflow steps and asset upload methods with AEM as a cloud service. 6. Backup and restore procedures. Adapt backup and restore procedures to fit the architecture and capabilities of the cloud environment. 7. Publish repository changes. Expect changes to the structure and management of the publish repository in the cloud. 8. Search and indexing optimization. Optimize content search and indexing to leverage cloud infrastructure efficiently. 9. Architecture adjustments with horizontal scaling. Cloud deployments provide automatic horizontal scaling, requiring architecture design modifications. 10. Project code structure adaptations. Align project code structures with cloud deployment best practices and guidelines. 11. Dispatcher configuration enhancements. Optimize dispatcher configurations to utilize cloud-based caching and delivery mechanisms. 12. Network, API, DNS and SSL reconfiguration. Reconfigure network settings, API connections, DNS, and SSL configurations for smooth operation in the cloud. 13. C, CD pipeline integration. Integrate AEM deployments with C, CD pipelines for efficient development and deployment. 14. AEM author access via Adobe account. Cloud access to AEM author instances may require authentication through Adobe accounts. 15. User groups and permissions adjustments. Update user groups and permissions for proper access control in the cloud environment. 16. Separation of mutable and immutable filters. Organize filters into separate packages for better manageability and performance in the cloud. 17. No custom run modes. Unlike on-premises setups, custom run modes are not permitted in the cloud, requiring adjustments to configuration management. 18. Sling content distribution over replication agents. Cloud deployments use sling content distribution instead of traditional replication agents for more efficient content distribution. 19. Built-in CDN option. AEM in the cloud includes a built-in CDN, or you can choose your own for better content delivery. 20. Asynchronous operations. Cloud deployments prioritize asynchronous operations for improved efficiency and resource utilization. 21. File I.O. and disk usage. Managing file I.O. and disk usage is crucial in the cloud for optimal performance and cost effectiveness. 22. Transition to Cloud Manager Pipeline Execution Cloud Manager Pipeline Execution becomes the primary method for deployments in the cloud environment. 23. Changes to CRX, DA and Package Manager Expect adjustments in CRX, DA and Package Manager functionalities during the migration to the cloud. 24. Long-running jobs reconfiguration Long-running jobs may require reconfiguration to suit the cloud environment. 25. Token-based authentication. Token-based authentication becomes a key strategy for secure access to AEM resources in the cloud. 26. DAM Update Asset Workflow Enhancements. DAM Update Asset Workflow functionalities may undergo changes and enhancements in the cloud. 27. Workflow Launchers Modifications. Workflow launchers may need to be adjusted to align with cloud-specific requirements. 
When planning a migration, it is crucial to update all relevant stakeholders, partners, and the Adobe team. This includes outlining the required efforts, tasks, timelines, and the teams involved. Your Adobe Point of Contact POC, will help ensure that you have the necessary licensing agreements and the correct subscriptions for EEM as a cloud service. Number 2. Preparing the code and environments for EEM as a cloud service This step is entirely technical and focuses on preparing your EEM environment for the cloud. Adobe offers a tool called Adobe Best Practices Analyzer, which assesses your current AEM setup and suggests necessary upgrades and best practices. Certified AEM experts can review the report to provide insights into the health of your current AEM environment and recommend changes for optimal cloud performance. Additionally, the AEM team will clean up outdated code and features to ensure a smooth migration and improve overall performance. The next step involves setting up AEM Cloud Manager, the core of AEM as a cloud service. While your AEM migration service provider will thoroughly test everything post-migration, it's essential to ensure a strong foundation for AEM in the cloud. Number 3. Migrating code and projects to the AEM cloud at this stage, your code has been cleaned up and adjusted to work both in your current AEM instance and the cloud. Ensure that all your environments, staging, production, etc., are configured for the cloud and ready for use. Then, push your code to the cloud's Git repository. During this phase, it's best to avoid making major changes to the code. Number 4. Checking for integration with external systems and core services Your website may rely on external systems via APIs for performance optimization. It's crucial that your AEM cloud environment integrates seamlessly with these services. All necessary configurations should be completed in AEM Cloud Manager. Additionally, AEM as a cloud service provides a static IP, which needs to be whitelisted on your end to enable your website to connect to on-site programs. Number 5. Integration with other Adobe Experience Cloud applications While not mandatory, integrating with other Adobe Experience Cloud AEC, applications, such as Adobe Analytics and Adobe Target, can enhance your website's capabilities. These integrations allow you to gain insights via web analytics and personalize user experiences more effectively. Number 6. Content Migration All your website content, assets, and data fall under content. To ensure a smooth transition, you can use Adobe's Content Transfer tool to migrate content from on-premises to the cloud. This tool ensures that any content changes made in your production environment are automatically reflected in the cloud. Number 7. Test the migration This is where you test the entire AEM environment during the user acceptance testing UAT, phase. The QA teams and business users will play a key role here. It's also beneficial to involve your marketing and content teams, authors, as they will interact most with the system and determine how components should function. After comprehensive testing, your system should be ready for uninterrupted operations, ensuring a smooth transition to the new environment and the ability to deliver engaging experiences to visitors. It's now time to go live. Number 8. Train your teams on the new instance while the admin interface will remain largely unchanged, it's essential to familiarize your authors with Adobe Cloud Manager. The management of the new tool should be handled by the IT or DevOps team. Our AEM experts will provide training for your teams on the new environment and address any specific questions that may arise.